Whew. Hello again, YouTube. This is Wes. Um, so, uh, I have a couple things. Um, one is an acquisition <coughs> from today, and another one is a, uh, a construction from today. Um, project I worked on uh, just this afternoon, and um, you know, I just get ideas in my head and don't have many limitations that hold me back when I want to see if I want to see if I can get something done um, or if I can try to figure something out. I love MacGyvering, uh, if you will. Um, the art of improvising is just my favorite. So, um, as you guys heard from the last um, video, I think it was a month ago or so, last video I had, um, I had received a pipe from my dad um, that was, uh, what was it, Mount Batten Admiral, I think, that had been um, refurbished. I think the shank had been cut off, and um, I did see some cracks that had been filled, so I'm guessing that the, that the, the shank was cracked. They cut it down to where they could fill those cracks, and it still functioned properly, and they put a, a silver band around it. Anyway, uh, that was a kind of a hit on my last uh, video, and I mentioned that my brother, um, he sent me for my birthday a Falcon pipe, and I will say this, it is probably one of my favorite pipes I've ever had. Um, being somebody who likes efficiency, I don't know if there is a pipe that is more efficient than a Falcon. Um, that, that you can run, aside from the bowl, and once you detach the bowl, you can run the whole thing under a faucet and uh, it cleans it out, you know, you know, run a pipe cleaner through it, and not only just through the stem, but you can, you know, you obviously come out into the uh, the humidome area. Um, so anyway, uh, very pleased with the Falcon pipe that my brother gave me. Um, so, to fit my Falcon pipe, I, um, I pulled out a socket set that I had um, acquired in a garage sale a long time ago. Um, we'll get to why this matters. So I pulled out this socket set, and it's in this little tin, not a tin, it's not cheap, I mean, it's, it's, it's I don't know, steel maybe, um, a little case that, you know, clips, a clip closure to shut, and, uh, you know, it's got a little border on the inside, and you can arrange all your sockets from largest to smallest, and, you know, the angle of that little border on the inside fits all of those. I mean, it's a cool, cool little case. Well, given that I don't use my socket set a ton, um, and I would love to have a uh, higher quality case for my pipe, um, and, <clears throat> lots of ands, and given my enjoyment of this Falcon pipe, um, I had requested on Amazon for Christmas on a, on a wish list. Um, I had requested two more bowls um, for my Falcon. Um, both the Algiers shape, if you're familiar with Falcons, um, kind of a, a tapered um, tapered bowl from the base, and then it slants upward, almost like a bulldog. It's kind of a I don't know how I describe it. Maybe I'll just describe it as an Algiers shape. <laughs> um, so, um, I found a way to filter my wish list on Amazon to see if anyone had purchased the items on my list. And sure enough, both bowls had been purchased. And I got um, a Hunter edition or a Hunter model. Um, that is the, sorry, Hunter style. Um, that's the same Algiers shape, but with the Hunter style of Falcon bowl, it is a lighter color um, bowl than the regular. So there's that, and then um, and then just a smooth version of the Algiers, which I have, I have the rusticated one, which I actually really like the rustication on it. It's not it's not smoothed out. It's not polished really. It's like the rustication. It, it looks it's crackly and, and rough. Um, I like it a lot. So that would complete it, um, complete the run of Falcon bowls um, for me, um, and if I can find either an Algiers solid Meerschaum bowl, then I'll get one of those. Um, I think you can get them on Amazon. I've seen a few. Um, they're like 50 bucks, but um, I have also seen an Algiers rusticated that had, it is lined with Meerschaum, which would be cool. Um, but all that to say, um, what I did today for my Falcon pipe is, here is our um, 
here's the wrench case if you could see that the socket set case um, I mean it's it's metal um, and this is what I ended up doing now let's see I'm gonna grab the camera and tilt it up and, all right here we go see if I can do this uh, all right and I don't know if you can see this but I have put a nah, there's the lighting still trying to figure out the lighting on this all right so what we have here is I have my sorry guys I'm really bad at this um, man, you really can't even see that hold on the lighting's gonna be better over here so uh, there we go there you go so what I did is I had some green felt and I made little compartments for the bowls as you can see and obviously since I'm holding my phone with my hand and this case I can't really pull the bowl out and show you but um, yeah so it's got a little slot up there for the pipe and then the bowl and then you know some matches but those other three slots um, hopefully will be um, for the other bowls that I get so anyway so that's that um, hope you guys like that um, anyway um, so that's that was my project for the day and I think it turned out really well um, actually so much so um, I put that little foam block in the corner so that it would keep the um, pipe from rattling around and honestly like it barely rattles but I think that's the uh, golf tee um, that's my patented aristocob.com pipe tamper in there um, so that which leads me to my next project which will probably be um, finding a way I know that Chris Morgan has done this um, and some other guys have um, in the Cobb community um, they have made um, Falcon threaded um, cob bowls so um, I need to get on the bandwagon and figure out how to make one of those because I love cobs and I could totally see the Rob Roy shape fitting perfectly on um, on my Falcon so alright so in light of that um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up and take get my little kit going here I just I love the fact that if my sorry if my hands are shaking it's because it's actually cold out here <laughs> um, so today um, I went to the local tobacconist um, Edwards tobacco shop um, pipe pipe and yeah pipe and tobacco um, I don't regularly hit up the local shop because as all of us online guys know um, usually the prices are about 30% more at the local place than they are online because pipesandcigars.com has a racket going <laughs> where you can get anything. So here's the thing. I acquired some tobacco. I think I covered one of those um, Esoterica Penzance. I covered that two reviews ago and uh, when I was in Texas for Thanksgiving. I um, also have McClelland um, Coyote Classic, which I have come to like. It's a little zesty, a little zingy. I think it's some of the um, red, red Virginia, I think is in it. Um, and then um, one of my favorites is Dunhill's My Mixture 965. Those are my latest acquisitions for um, tobacco. And I really didn't need a ton more. Uh, you guys are probably dogging on me because you could never have too much tobacco. Um, I just don't like having a ton because, you know, I, if I don't smoke it, I feel bad. And then, you know, I'm like, well, I want more. And then I haven't finished what I have. So I went to Edwards today and I picked up um, this, which is my first Peterson blend. Um, and this is Irish Oak. Um, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> so we're going to figure out what this tastes like together. I love like uh, when when Tom handed me this, I was I was excited cuz I was like, "You know, what about that Irish oak?" He said, "Oh, I like this one." Um, he asked me what I was smoking cuz I love smoke shops where you can just walk in with your pipe going and you can smoke from inside your car, walk across the parking lot smoking, and then you can walk into the shop and continue smoking because it's a, a pipe shop. Um, 
he gray, he asked me what I was smoking, and I was smoking um, three nuns, Bell's three nuns. Um, I I like three nuns. It's uh, you know nothing too out of the box, um, but um, anyway, um, it's you know pretty basic. Uh, you know, not, no surprises there. Um, he said that Irish oak had more surprises than um, than three nuns. Sorry, our street is still fairly caked with snow. So, all right, so here we go. Um, before I show you guys this cut, um, the tin reads, a rich blend of Brazilian and African Virginia leaf with Cavendish and rare Louisiana Perique. Now, I have, I, I'm a huge fan of Virginia Periques, and I think to add <clears throat> Cavendish to that, so steamed, steamed tobacco, seems delightful. Um, and I'm a fan of just straight Cavendishes, so I think to mix those, I think it would probably make this pretty mellow, but at the same time have some complexity to it with that Perique. So anyway, um, here we go. Um, let's see if I can get into this. Man, my hands are just shaking. Um, all right, so here we go. This is... Peterson Irish Oak. Oh, I, that's got to be the Perique. Oh, man. I think I'm becoming a huge fan of Perique. The more I have it in things, the more I can recognize it in things. Um, so this is the cut, if you can see it. Um, it's, uh, you know, um, pretty nice, pretty fine cut, I'll be honest. Um, so, all right, I'm going to load this up because I'm getting close to, I'm at 11 minutes. Sorry guys, um, lots to update, lots to update, projects and new tobacco, and... so anyway, here we go, I'm not going to load a full bowl in this, um, but I am excited about this because I, 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 you know, you can smell the Perique, you can absolutely smell it, it's like, um, what are the, what's the description, because it's perfect, um, peppered, Dude, plums, is that right? I think that's right. All right, guys, here we go. See how I can keep this match lit. picks up. Um, I wish I had my lighter in my pocket, which I don't. Um, one more try, guys, and if I don't get it, I may have to run in, or I may cut this video off. something in there that's real rich and creamy. You know? This, um... This is okay. I am pleased with this tobacco. Um, Irish Oak from Peterson. Um, I'll give some more reviews. Maybe I'll post another video. 15 minute mark's almost up. So, um, anyway, guys, hope you had a good time learning about what I had, what I acquired. Um, we'll see you guys around. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2016. All right, see ya.